morning. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bespoke Channel. And uh, welcome back to the footwear series. Uh, we looked at uh, three previous series. We looked at an introduction session. Uh, we looked at a session on uh, Oxford's lace ops or bar morals. And then we looked at a, a session on derbies or, or bluchers, if you will. And so today we're going to look at the next uh, category, which is uh, uh, loafers, loafers or slippers, as some would call them. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the story is behind the origin of slippers. Um, there's a story about well, some of some English royalty, Prince uh, Albert or someone who needed something beyond, uh, besides an Oxford to wear at home, something a bit more casual and, uh, and uh, comfortable, hence the concept of loafers. But uh, I'm sure the stories are legion about the origin of, uh, of loafers. But they are what you would call uh, a more comfortable, uh, casual version of a dress shoe. So with that, uh, we'll delve into loafers, the different type of loafers, when and how they should be worn. So uh, let's walk over here as usual and look at some material. Again, these are from some of my favorite texts. Uh, this is from Bernard Rotzel's uh, Gentleman. And as you can see here, um, this is a, a loafer called a tassel loafer. Uh, they're denoted by the little tassels on here. They're very popular with the Americans, not so much with the British, but the Americans have been noted to wear these uh, with suits, as a matter of fact. And uh, here you have uh, penny loafers, or Weegians, uh, uh, as America, again, something very, very popular with Americans. Uh, very popular with the Ivy look. Uh, so in, in New England, or sort of the Ivy uh, era, this was very, very popular. Um, worn with, uh, with tweeds and, and, and khakis and, 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 and all sorts of things. Here is what you call a modern penny loafer. Uh, it's a dress loafer. Uh, this can be worn in place of a sport jacket. Some would wear it in place of a suit. It's got this strap over it. So it's not as informal as the as the uh, as the Weejun, as you can see here, uh, but it's it's a bit more dressy. Uh, it's it's it, the, the the welt is 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 structured like a regular shoe, uh, except the fact that it doesn't have laces. Uh, and again, here is something a bit more formal. Even the dress slip on, it almost looks like a shoe. It just doesn't have laces, and it's got essentially a piece of leather over the over the vamp. Uh, and that is what you call a dress slip-on. As you can see, it, it's even got uh, the brogin and the, and the wingtip. So other than this piece of leather, it almost looks like a regular uh, brogue. And again, here you have our, our tassel loafer, which we've a, already looked at over there. So again, going back to loafers, I mean, we have the tassel loafer, we have the penny loafer, we have casual weechons, which some people wear in a boat form, uh, like boat loafers, and, uh, and so on and so forth. There are also some uh, more casual variants, which we'll look at, uh, for instance, Belgian slippers or Belgian loafers. Uh, these are, again, sort of even further down on the degree of formality. Personally, Belgian loafers I wear at home uh, when I wish to run a short errand uh, in the place of slippers at home. This is something a bit more elegant that you can wear when receiving visitors at home or when wearing your pants and you just don't want to feel so constricted wearing leather shoes at home. So with that, let's have a look at some of the stuff we have on today. So the way I've arranged this, uh, essentially in order of formality, I start with the tassel loafers, which we've looked at over here. Um, these are tassel loafers. Uh, like I said, Americans would wear this with suits. Uh, the British wouldn't, but these are quite perfectly worn with suits, especially in a dark color like dark brown. So if you were to wear these, let's look at these again. If you were to wear these, I would certainly recommend them in a dark color, like dark brown or dark burgundy to wear with your dark business suits. Next in level of formality would be your penny loafers. Uh, these are your traditional, very classic penny loafers. Uh, these are Piccadilly's by Edward Green. Very classic, round toe, very simple. Again, this is something many people would wear with suits, uh, except the strictest of adherents who would uh, find it uh, almost a heresy to wear this uh, with suits. Again, still a penny loafer, but this is more or less a summer version of it. 
So again, if you look at this, this is a darker brown. So this is something you wear pretty much all season or sort of in the cooler months. Uh, or sort of more dressy outfits. Uh, this is a chestnut color, very similar. It's got the strap over the van. Again, very similar with stitching on the toes, but it's a chestnut color. So you would tend to wear this with lighter colors like beige, uh, lighter browns and lighter grays. Um, and then still further down on the formality spectrum is the Gucci Bit Loafer. Um, these are very, very popular, especially with New Yorkers and bankers. Uh, it's a very, very robust, durable loafer. I've had this for about 10 years now. These I've had about 12 years. Those about 12 years as well. Uh, you can tell from the sole, these are almost due for resoling. Um, these have been resold once. And they keep going as you can see the leather is uh, shown quite a bit of age uh, but they're still good um, these i've had about 10 years they're very very robust i've had them resold once uh, but these are very popular especially with new yorkers these are very good for kicking around for walking the pavement uh, the leather the height is very very good only problem i have with these is that you know they're not very very elegant to wear with suits you will find a lot of people wear them with suits. I wouldn't. I would wear this with sport coats, jeans, or something a bit more casual. And then we come here to Belgian loafers. As I mentioned, these are slippers. These are very beautiful. These are so comfortable. The sole is made of essentially very flexible leather. It's made of very flexible leather. So it almost feels like styrofoam, but it's leather. So it's very soft. This is something you could slip into when you come back from work and your feet are tired. You just slip into this. They look like shoes. They're very, very comfortable, yet elegant, and you can receive your visitors at home with this. The same with this. This is another variant of it in suede. Again, these I've had for about two years. Very comfortable, soft. You can bend them. And uh, very, 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 very uh, adequate replacements for penny loafers, which again have very hard leather soles and, and uh, you know get tiresome after a while. So that's it for loafers. Um, let's uh, walk around here. Uh, that's it for loafers. Um, next uh, session, we will look at uh, dress boots. Uh, and uh, that will bring us to the end of our ready to wear. Uh, shoe series and then we go back to our bespoke series uh, we'd already done one session in the bespoke series and uh, the shoes of so my shoes and the bespoke shoes are getting fitted so once that's done we will do a follow-up uh, session on the bespoke shoes so but that's it for now thank you for watching and uh, see you guys enjoy your weekend